Then once you're done using the speeder, or once the cave is done using you in the speeder, and shoving a bunch of rhyolite up your ass, you get to actually use the stinger itself, and it is, it's the same it's the same thing you're used to by this point. You should know how to try to avoid falling rocks, and you should fail periodically, because this game just decided that controls were not important to gameplay. That it was far more important to have obscene challenge without fun. Either intentionally or because they forgot. My guess would be intentionally because the douchebags who developed this game and sold it to a bunch of unsuspecting kids, ripping them off of their hard-earned allowance, probably are still patting themselves on the fucking back today. I would be. Children are the most wonderful source of income on the planet. Because all you have to do is package something just right, and they're like, Oh, hey, Mom and Dad, I want that shit. And by the 90s, parents were like, Oh, okay, Johnny. I want you to have everything, so... So, yeah, parents pissed away hard-earned money on an allowance that was going to get pissed away equally badly. Here, this, this is what 40 bucks bought you. 40 bucks bought you the most imbalanced collision detection on the planet. I can't think of a game offhand that has quite as flagrantly imbalanced collision detection as this... as this heresy of video game history. Because, I mean, it just, just rewind and pause that. Pause that bullshit. Pause that fucking two seconds of time when I swing in and I'm touching the beacon. I am fondling that beacon like a frat boy fondles a bear tit. And I am not back in the sequest. No, instead the roof shakes, a rock falls on me, and I die. And that is what you deal with. Now, you know that if that was a torpedo, if that was the final boss's left testicle, hell, not even his left testicle, a hair, a pube on his left testicle, it would have hit you. It would have counted as a hit. Because that is how the collision detection in this goddamn game works. Against you. The game is very happy to have obstacles, to have weapons, all that other crap actually hit you, even though it, it's kind of on the line. Hell, it doesn't even have to be on the line. The only thing that you can count on not getting hit by the collision detection is the waving penis on the back of the stinger. For whatever reason, anything else, God help you unless it's that beacon. If your goal is to get fucked right at the end of the level and die at the beacon, this is the game for you. Because that is what happens. I mean, come on. How, how is this fair in any way? Indiana Jones, when he ran from a gigantic ass boulder, it followed him because it followed the contours of the fucking cave. Where are the contours in this cave? Where? This is the Pacific fucking Ocean. This is the bottom of the Earth. The bottom of the surface of the Earth. The lowest point on the crust. The surface of the crust. There is nothing here to guide a rock. To crush you. There's water. Water doesn't have contours. Water follows the contours of what it, it's, in, it's contained in. In this case, the abyssal plain and the continental shelf. It's a giant ass bowl of water. If you drop something in it, it falls straight fucking down. It doesn't follow a piece of shit. Unless it's a magnetic rock. There is no excuse! So 
wherever you are, Sequest programmers, fuck you. From children all the, around the world who decided to buy this thing. Fuck you. And if you liked this game, I'm sorry. So once you're done with that, you get to do something almost exactly the same, but more annoying. Make sure you have that 18 inch long rubber dildo ready. Make sure it's nice and flexible. A hose will do just as good. Provided you cap it with a condom or something to, to make sure that it, it capably removes any pride you have as you strangle to death. 